Hello and welcome, dear viewers. For this lesson, we are having a mini debate. Yes, hopefully we'll get some students joining us very soon. And uh, we will discuss cell phones in the class. Yes, cell phones in classrooms. Uh, it's a very interesting and very controversial topic. Um, uh, nowadays, technology is so advanced that students um, Almost every student has a, has a smartphone, and um, yeah, yeah. So basically, we will uh, read a text about this topic: uh, cell phones in class, and then we'll look at some vocabulary, some questions, and uh, hopefully have a little mini debate, or at least a discussion about this. And um, yeah, so let's wait for the students to join and. We can get started.
Hello, Alexander. Hello. How are you? And why are you alone here? <laughs> Very good question. I don't know. I had four students earlier. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know. This seems like they've gone to bed. <laughs> or they have better things to do. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> it's very strange because I uh, was in a hurry to be here after evening shift. All right, that's good. I'm <laughs> glad you joined. Otherwise, I would have been very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> How's your health? Good. Yeah, I actually I didn't have any ginger like uh -huh. uh, you guys advised yesterday, and I was out today. And I actually forgot to buy it. And, uh, mm. yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I've been having a, a lot of tea, and uh, I feel a bit better than yesterday. Still, I, I, I can feel that my throat is a bit, uh, mm -hmm. you know, itchy. But it's not too bad. I'm able to speak, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't have all you, the other symptoms. Uh, you don't celebrate yet. Uh, it will be tomorrow, Christmas. Yeah, here in the UK, it's it's tomorrow. I believe it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's um, Christmas Eve tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're all celebrating to, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I have an interesting, I think it's tomorrow, an interesting lesson uh, since I'm teaching tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, about Christmas. Oh. Which will be an hour later than tonight. Mm -hmm. From 10 to 11 in our time. Yes, that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. So Moscow time. Um, I yes. don't know how much time do you have in UK right now. What time is it now? It's uh, almost twenty past six. Mm -hmm. Twenty yeah. past six. So it was three hours difference. You're, if yeah. you're using the Moscow time. Yeah. Yeah, three hours apart. Yeah, and um, so it should be interesting. Uh, a mm -hmm. bit of a history. Um, yeah, it's just a history lesson about Christmas and how it all started, and um, you know where it came, how it came about, and mm -hmm. what the actual date is, and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. It's quite interesting because as time has gone, as time has passed, uh, you know people don't even know why they're celebrating it. They're just buying gifts and you know celebrating, doing certain rituals, yeah, and, yeah. and practices. Some of it actually has got nothing to do with it. It's quite interesting if you read up mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, so how was your day? You were busy, I presume? Uh, well, not so much uh, because I was uh, got up very uh, late for my time. It's about uh, 9 mm -hmm. in the morning. So, yes, I have this this evening shift yeah for my own so, so. you started what midday or something like that um, yeah about uh, 11 o'clock mm -hmm. my working day has started so it's well now I'm at home about mm -hmm. hour ago I went from work maybe no less I think it's half mm -hmm. an hour well that's cool I'm glad you joined I'm, I'm even more <laughs> I'm uh, glad that you rushed for the lesson. Yeah, yeah. I was. I w wouldn't believe my eyes to see that you are alone. <laughs> Actually, you know why? Because of your um, your enthusiasm and your desire. Now you are rewarded of having a <laughs> private class. It's yeah, you and the teacher. There's no other in, uh, you know disturbances. You're gonna get all the attention. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Look, um, let's get straight into it. Actually, this particular lesson would have been maybe more suitable for at least two students, but it, it doesn't matter. Even if one student is here, it's fine. Because it's supposed to be a mini debate lesson. So I've done these before. Ah, yeah. I remember that topic uh, in the previous lessons, but in the morning. Yeah, but nobody attended that one either. I think. I don't know <laughs> yeah, it was strange. I was here and I actually just read about it. And mm -hmm. um, for those students that will watch it in the future, mm -hmm. um, you know, they can just briefly have a look at it. It was strange. Maybe nobody likes to debate it, or 
because it's supposed to be like upper intermediate level. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why you know students are a bit hesitant to join. But okay. what whatever the reason may be, I think it's very interesting, and mm -hmm. uh, because this lesson is all about the student learning some more vocabulary and also you know debating about this particular topic, mm -hmm. or at least conversing, discussing it. You know. All right, so cell phones in the classroom. This is what it's about. And mm. this particular text, we're going to hear a story. I mean, we will read about a story that happened, an event, um, in, in Quebec, in Canada. Mm -hmm. But before we read it, uh, before I let you read it, let's have a look at these questions here. I'm sure you've heard about YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? Um, have you ever posted anything or uploaded anything on YouTube? I don't think so. And maybe just one video. <laughs> uh, it was just uh, in case to practice and to see what will happen if I do so. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, to yeah. find out what happens. I see. Yeah, well, actually, people make money out of it, you know? Yeah, I know. I uh, subscribed to many channels, mm -hmm. uh, most of them. <laughs> Uh, mm, game videos. <laughs> yeah, gaming. There are a lot. Of, imagine these. Yeah, yeah. Some of these, they are actually kids. You know, teenagers who just love playing video games. I don't know. You yeah. Know, FIFA, Minecraft. It's a work of a uh, dream, I think. Yeah. You are playing games and you uh, getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's really crazy because they get paid a lot of money. The more views you get, yeah. you know, the more subscribers you get, the more money you'll get from YouTube, which is very interesting. And I um, think most of them are from advertising companies. Mm -hmm. I know many of them are, have their money from advertising. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah, yeah, they're different. You know. Um, avenues and means that they can get their money. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a very interesting thing. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so you've uploaded maybe one video out of curiosity. I also did it a while ago. Um, <laughs> however, all of my lessons actually are on my YouTube channel, so yeah, of course, they're all I, accessible. I saw some of them that I missed. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, so it's easily accessible. It's really good mm. for the students. Um, so let's move on to the second question. Do you know if cell phones are allowed in classrooms, in public schools in your city? Uh, I don't know because country. I was at school when cell phones didn't was uh, such a common thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but uh, I know that some of uh, teachers uh, take it away uh, from students because they are gaming or doing some, I don't know, chatting and yep. so on. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to do something bad if uh, before you <laughs> take uh, will be taken away mm -hmm. with your cell phone. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think they're pretty much. In uh, every public school, you know, they, they, I presume they are forbidden or not allowed in the class. And uh, some schools actually don't even allow phones at all, you know, at, yeah. in school premises. You know, mm -hmm. um, I presume you have a cell phone or a smartphone. <laughs> yeah, and it has a camera. But do, you, do you use your camera a lot? Mm. Not very often, I think, not doing selfie. Uh, <laughs> but if I see something beautiful or curious, I definitely, definitely take a shot of it. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm not really a diehard um, selfie user or taking photos of every sec second thing I see. But every now and then, if it's worth, I'll take it as well. Mm -hmm. OK, so do you text message or do you message your friends on your hmm. cell phone? Yeah, on, uh, on WhatsApp. Yes, of course. Yeah, everyone uses WhatsApp. Good. <laughs> and okay, here's a question: Do you know anyone who has um, or had his or her picture taken on a cell phone in an embarrassing situation? If so, what was his or her reaction? I I think 
about uh, this uh, scandal um, with iPhones and iClouds. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember many actresses was involved uh, and Lawrence and I don't remember who else was involved but it was such a disaster for them. Oh, I didn't hear about this. Is this something no. recently? No. Huh. Maybe yeah, I... it was uh, about months ago. Uh, some pictures, some private, intimate pictures were um, stolen from iCloud. Oh, uh, I think they were like nude, nude, nude pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. I may have heard about something. Yeah, yeah, it was on the news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be terribly embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, if it happens to a celebrity, it's always going to be on the news. Yeah, I think uh, this is why we mm, can't mm, use i uh, some cloud uh, some clouds very for very intimate mm -hmm. things on our own. That's right. Yeah, it's very. So I presume you would be worried if you were to do that. I mean, well, if you had some, you know, pictures or documents that you wouldn't want anyone to see. No, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah it's it's common, you know. It's, yeah. uh, it's, everyone will be worried about it. Yeah, you know, this is why you know privacy is so important, and mm -hmm. we may think we may think that oh, it's okay, it's all under password protection. However, <laughs> however, I I don't uh, I don't understand people who uses uh, clouds and making some uh, pictures like that, and they're thinking, oh, it's okay, Apple, you have you may got it, you may do what you want, I don't mind, and then you'll see it on the internet. I don't know why people are so obsessed with clouds now. Yeah. Yeah, it's who knows. Um, it's a strange world. We're living no, in. Uh, I understand that's a very useful thing because uh, if you shoot something uh, and it goes in the cloud, you can access it from any other device of your own. Mm -hmm. You yep. can show it uh, to other people if you don't have your cell phone, but you have iPad mm -hmm. or something like that. But. Mm. Yeah, there are also risks involved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very true. Okay, Alex, let us get uh, started with the reading. So uh, it's all yours. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's okay. Uh, whether students should be allowed to have personal electronic devices in the classroom because an issue in Gatineau, Quebec, after an October 20. Uh, 2006 incident in a secondary school. Uh, two, three, uh, 13 years old girls provoked their teacher into yelling at one of them while the other used her cell phone camera to secretly film them. Mm. Uh, the girls then posted their video on the internet on the YouTube website. Uh, the teacher was so upset and embarrassed by the video that he took stress leave. The school suspended the two student, uh, students and banned all the students from bringing any type of personal electronic device into the classroom. Uh, their teacher reaction uh, to the YouTube posting and his absence from school left all his students feeling badly about what had happened and they asked that the video be removed from YouTube. The students would not be searched, but the ban on taking devices like cell phones into a class would be strictly enforced. Teachers were concerned about how easily a person's image can be distorted. Uh, the Catenu teacher has taught, had taught for 32 years and had spent many years working with students with discipline problems. Shouting at students uh, was not a true picture of his work at, as a teacher. The teachers' union was lobbying uh, for personal electronic devices to be banned from all schools in Western Quebec. 
the teacher also believes that they must be able to discipline students without fear of being public publicly uh, exposed. In other words, what happens in the classroom should stay within the classroom. Some parents, however, were dismayed be by the teacher's view on privacy. Uh, parents worried that students with uh, serious complaints about the teacher's behavior would not be believed. They expect the teachers to act responsibly and be able to justify their actions in the classroom. Posting secretly obtained videos of people on the internet is an ongoing privacy issue. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that uh, particular scandal. Mm -hmm. It was in 2003? I think 2006 or what? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 2006. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we have some common uh, incidents. Yeah? Yeah, many of them. Uh, it's very <laughs> <coughs> popular amount among uh, newspapers or news channels when some mm, kids shooting people uh, by uh, with camera I, I mean all oh, right uh, I was gonna say <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah photographer being posted on the YouTube then and yeah it's a very bad thing I think. Yeah, it happens. I, I believe it happens everywhere. You know, even if, let's say, smartphones, or, you know, cell phones are not allowed in the class, you have students who still take it uh, into the class, and you know, they provoke teachers or other students to do, you know, crazy things, and then they take videos of that and post it on, you know, on YouTube and the likes. Yeah, that was well read, I have to say. Well read, uh, Alex. <clears throat> so let's have a look at these questions here on the right uh, to see if you understood the text. So the first question, what became an important issue in Quebec high schools in 2006? Mm, uh, as I remember, two girls uh, provoked teacher uh, for two shouting at them and uh, it is it was being filmed and then uploaded to YouTube and that teacher mm, mm, became very upset and uh, have mm -hmm. to take uh, I don't know I don't remember how to use this stress, word stress I think yeah. it was stress leave stress leave yeah 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 good yeah so basically the main problem was um, having personal electronic devices in the classroom. Mm -hmm. that, that became an important issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because it created a lot of, you know, problems. Which Do you was... remember that uh, incident or? No, I don't. This was actually a while ago. It was eight years mm -hmm. ago. So, where was I? I think it, it was uh, one of common things. Nowadays. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't a big thing. Uh, it was probably more more common in in Canada, or it was more popular rather in, in Canada in Canada when that happened. But it wasn't an international thing, so mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Well, hmm. I think I just said it. Yeah, what situation that is going to point? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you mm -hmm. mentioned that already. So, how did the teacher involved uh, react to this incident? <laughs> um, he uh, shout at girls, and yeah, um, that's all. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you mentioned it, part of that as well. He was pretty embarrassed and upset, so um, yeah. he took stress leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And what did the school do in response to this incident? Uh, as I remember they uh, being banned uh, all cell phones in school. Yes. Yeah. So they banned it. Yeah. And those the students that were involved they were suspended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And the last one. 
Why do many teachers want personal hmm. electronic devices banned from all classrooms? I think um, if I would be uh, a teacher, I think uh, I agree with many teachers that, it, that wanted personal electronic devices banned from all classrooms. Mm -hmm. I think uh, before classes, child or children may just uh, give uh, a cell phone or um, tablet to the teacher and mm -hmm. if uh, it's, uh, mm, I don't know, if it's called by mom or dad, mm -hmm. if it's really serious, um, teacher just give it them it back and they can uh, talk to each other mm -hmm. if it's something serious. Yeah. But I don't know why uh, people so obsessed with electronic devices. I don't know if uh, on any classrooms there will be very uh, thing in need. True. Yeah. Yeah. If it, if there is an emergency, you know, yeah. for example, the parents need to reach their child, they should just call the office, the reception. Yeah, and then the office will make sure that the child receives the message or is called to the, you know reception mm -hmm. to the front office, and the, you know the issue yeah. can be dealt with there rather yeah. than you know rather than uh, disrupting the class. The teacher yeah. is being you know interrupted. Yeah, I know that uh, <laughs> children do not use it for purpose. They playing games. They exactly. text each other. I don't know why. There should be of course, yeah. So it should be just like you said, either the teach, yeah, they should just probably have like some sort of rule where they you know, keep it outside the classroom. They keep it in their lockers. If they have certain lockers outside the classroom, they should lock the phones in there. You know, I, or I think a uh, teacher's desk will be fine yeah. for that. After the classes, they could uh, use it. As they want, playing games, do whatever they want. Sure. But in the classroom, it's it must be banned. For yeah, absolutely. My yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very uh, understandable. So let's have a look uh, at the next on the next page here. So we have some vocab here that will come up. Mm -hmm. So mm, device. Let's see if you can match that to the right meaning. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Piece of equipment for a special purpose. That's it. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you did that fairly quickly. Well done. So, how would you use device in a sentence? Uh, I have some devices on my private, and my wife has it, and. Everyone has some device on their own, like iPhone, tablet, even PC. <laughs> yeah, all of these are devices. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Very good, very good. All right, number two. Incident. Um, so... <laughs> yeah. Ah, situation, happening, event. Yeah, the yeah. last one. Very good. Mm -hmm. Situation, not happening, or an event. Mm -hmm. Incident. Uh, uh, some incidents involving mm, electronic devices. Very uh, good. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, in the classroom are considered, you know, disrespectful. You know, yeah. Are, yeah, incidences, incidents where students use electronic devices in the class, you know, which are considered disrespectful. They become more popular and popular. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, very good. Yeah, embarrassed. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Feeling mentally or socially uncomfortable. Very good. Yeah, that's the one. Embarrassed uh, teacher on the classroom was very embarrassed when she was filmed and posted yeah. on YouTube. 
Yeah, very good. Yeah, because what also what can happen what can happen is that students can they can edit the video or the yeah. photo, you know, and they can use your or the whoever the, the picture was taken of uh, the face, you know, and kind of uh, edit it or you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you know, you understand what I'm saying, and put it yeah, yeah. You know, with another picture, and you know, can I we have uh, some pictures. I mm. think uh, every, it's about all the internet. We called it a demotivator. I don't know how. It, mm -hmm. Ah, internet mem. I think something okay. uh, with uh, poker faces, uh, poke faces. When some picture is taken, and then it uh, some funny, I think. Yeah, yeah. There are these, you know, programs and software you can actually use to make all sorts of alterations to mm -hmm. people's faces and you know pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going then. So number four. <coughs> Ah, uh, Ben. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah. Order that something must not be done, not allow. Yes, very good. Mm, so, uh, I was banned from attending school. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, maybe you. Um, yeah, I maybe. Maybe maybe you were one of the students that did this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I doubt that you would have done that, but um, yeah, it's common. So um, this word "ban" can be a verb or a noun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've used it as a, a verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can also use it as a noun. Um, Permanent ban. <laughs> yeah. They, you are um, there is a ban on you know using cell phones or electric devices in yeah. classrooms or drinking um, alcohol yeah drinking alcohol for underage people <laughs> yeah okay five uh, hmm. maybe it's a greatly surprised with difficult <coughs> understanding. Hmm. No. I don't know this word. Distorted. Yeah. Ah, this is a new one for you. Yeah, I think uh, so. Statement of this uh, this faction. Hmm. Maybe this. Think of a picture that is distorted. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Order gave a good reason for mentally. Ah, yeah, I giving a false or untrue picture of something. That's the one. Yeah. So pictures was distorted, so I can see anything. Very good. Nice and simple. Yeah, the picture is distorted, and I'm unable to see. Mm -hmm. See it, or to see it um, in its totality, or <laughs> okay, yeah. lobbying. Mm. Mm. Where it is? Mm. Give a good reason. Show something is right. That's the one. Mm. Nope. No. Ah, yeah. Mm, trying to make law ma makers pass certain laws. That's it. Lobbying. Mm -hmm. Lobbying. So yeah. this is a gerund of lobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this act was lobbying by some people. Act or. Mm, uh, act of uh, banning cell phones was lobbying by teachers. Um, was being lobbied, mm -hmm. you say. Mm -hmm. 
or the teachers insisted on lobbying mm -hmm. you know this issue because they want to make it you know illegal you know mm -hmm. to be used in the classrooms yeah so lobbying is like you know persuading mm -hmm. persuading yeah. or you know influencing someone to do something yeah okay good next one <clears throat> hmm. so Greatly surprised with difficulty understanding. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Well done. Greatly surprised with difficulty. It was just finger in the sky. Uh, so hmm, dismayed. I was dismayed uh, with difficulty understanding. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to use it. I was dismayed when I see them kissing. Yeah, very good. So dismayed, dismayed. Here actually, it's like you're surprised, shocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't understand why they are doing this. Uh, maybe they were apart for a long period and they just kissed in front of my eyes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah. That's a good good sentence actually, yeah. So you when you see something that you you know oh very surprised seeing that, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can use that word. Very good. Have you heard of this before? Uh I don't remember it, but no, definitely not. Mm -hmm. Dismay. Yeah, so dismay dismay uh dismay can be a noun or a verb. Mm-hmm. No? And both to kind of deal with the concern or you know something concern or, yeah it's, it's kind of uh, shock by something it's, uh, it's something uh, bad bad surprise yeah it has a negative inclination yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay Eight. complaint um, complaint ah oh. mm. Ah, yeah, statement of dissatisfaction, maybe. maybe. Yeah, that's it. Well done. Complaints. You've heard of this before, right? Yeah. A yeah. complaint. Yeah, it's a noun. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it uh, all can be a verb, I think. To complain. Ah, to complain without, yeah. without yeah. the T, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so complaint. Uh, there was a complaint about behaving of your son. About the behavior of your son. Yeah. 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 Oh, about your son's uh, behavior. Very okay. good. Yeah, good sentence. All right, nine. Uh, so. <laughs> I don't see mm -hmm. where it is. <laughs> okay, there is G and E. That's all we have. G and E. Ah. Question for the session concern. Give a good reason. Ah, justify. Give a good reason. Uh, show something is right. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. How would you use justify? Uh, I have. Justify it to do this mm, task. What a strange sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Give a good reason, show something is right. Justify. I don't know. Good reason. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to use this one. Okay, let me try and give you an example. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, somebody did something horrible, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, those people that felt um, you know, that, okay, this was very wrong, 
<laughs> uh, they thought it was um, their their action because they followed with another action and they mm. thought it was justified. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Being uh, to do something right, there was thinking that was right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see the last one. Issue, issue I and E. Giving a false? No. Mm -hmm. No, I we had already. E, yeah. Yeah. Question for discussion concern. Yeah. Uh, this issue was discussed in many forums around internet. Very good. Yeah, this issue was discussed in many forums around the world. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Okay, so now um, we only have about eight minutes left, so let's see if we can do these and uh, discuss a bit more. So see if you can use those words in the next six sentences here. Or actually, uh, yeah, they're saying find the words or expressions in the article that have the following meaning. Yeah, so what what do these statements mean? May angry cause something to happen. Hmm. <clears throat> and by the way, those not don't actually have to be a part of the ten that we Yeah, have. yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. May angry cause something to happen. Uh provoke, maybe. Well done, bravo. <laughs> yeah. Because the students provoked the mm -hmm. teacher. To yell, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Provoked. All right. Second Don't one. Work because of mental or ah yeah, <laughs> that uh, no I I don't remember <laughs> uh, mental or emotional difficulties. Yeah, two yeah. words. Yeah, yeah. I remember that, and you already uh, told it. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you have a lot on your mind and a lot of work to do, what happens? You are mm, tired. <laughs> not tired, but you're thinking about a lot of things. So uh, mentally, uh, no, not mentally. State. Um, <laughs> what was it? Um, So it starts with the letter S. Yeah, stress. Yes, good. Stress. Uh, and another word. Mm -hmm. uh, something that gave, gives away to go on a vacation. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but I don't remember the word. Starts with uh, the letter L. Uh, stress. La, la, la. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing? Stress leave. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, when you go on uh, paid vacation you, mm -hmm. or paid leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leave is basically when you take time off work. Mm -hmm. All right. So, stress uh, leave. Mm -hmm. Stress leave. It Allow, allow students to attend school for a period of time as means of punishment. Mm. Yeah, I remember that too in the text. Uh, so they were mm, not Bennett, but something about <coughs> in, in Captain. In, it starts no. with the letter S. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, we have two actions that we can use. One is expelled. The expelled means you don't, it's like being fired from work. Mm -hmm. So you, when you're expelled at school, means you, you're not returning to the school at all. Mm -hmm. They've kicked you out of the school. And the yeah. other one is where, you know, you are, you know, kind of... Um, you're not allowed to attend school for certain days. Yeah, yeah. Something about ban, ban mm -hmm. something in common, but not very long. 
Period. Mm. Insisted. No. Sus. Uh, suspended. Sus. Yeah, that's it. Suspend. Yeah. 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 Suspended. So you are either expelled or suspended. Suspended mm. is you know when you leave for a few days and you come back. Yeah. <clears throat> Being away from. Hmm. Being away from. Hmm. So when you don't attend a lesson, you are banned. Oh, no, <laughs> absent. It, absent. That's it. Being away from means absence. So the noun is absence or uh, being absent. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Uh, an organization of workers. Mm. Unity. Mm. No, but close <laughs> starts with the same letter. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm. you no, not unit. Professional. United. Unified. No. Uh, no. <laughs> you know, you know, usually we have an organization that takes care of workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional un ah, union. Union, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, a union. Very good. And the last one? You have a set of rules, bring under control, punish. Hmm. Give a set of rules, bring under control, and punish. Punish. Hmm. No. <laughs> Starts with a D. D. Mm. Punish. Bring Every power. Yeah? Yeah. Um. Discipline. Yeah. That's a discipline. Yeah, I think in, in Russian it probably is the same, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Dis disciplina, or how do you say it? Disciplina, that. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, see, so in English we say discipline. The the, the C the C uh, is swallowed by the S. Mm -hmm. So it's discipline. Discipline. Excellent. Well done. Um, so we've pretty much run out of time. Mm -hmm. um, so if you'd like, here are some interesting questions to look at. Um, you can look at them in your spare time. So, do mm -hmm. you think there is any reason that students should be allowed to take cell phones into the classroom? What well, do you think? we discussed it earlier. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I if don't it's think an so. emergency, like you said, if the mom or the dad needs to reach them, you know, yeah. the front they office could always reach them. Yeah, or the teacher uh, could see it. Yeah, yeah. There's mom calling. Mm -hmm. You know. And so on. Okay, so have a look at these questions if you like. I'll give you the link for for this mm -hmm. uh, PDF, and uh, you can save it. <clears throat> so this is going to be a new. Uh, you can maybe open a new file or folder on your computer, and mm -hmm. name it Mini Debates, because <laughs> uh, we're going to do a lot of these hopefully. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a shame. Um, you know, we started a bit late, so we didn't get a chance to. You know, discuss more of this. Well, I think we discussed. Uh, We've done most of it, yeah. So yeah. Which is good. Okay, where is it? Cell phones in class. <clears throat> and I so, think we discussed many of this topic. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, I presume you must be very hungry now. <laughs> Not so it? much. No, I have uh, some eating. You've had some food already? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Oh, that's good. Um, there you go, Alex. The <laughs> link is in the chat. Yeah. Download it. And, um, ah, about uh, eating. Uh, do you have some uh, special food uh, on the Christmas? Uh, my wife is curious, just. Mm. <laughs> here, uh, what do they have here? Well, they do have. You know, usually like a big roast, uh, maybe turkey. Mm -hmm. um, you know that it's it's like you know, in America they have mm -hmm. um, the common to have turkeys as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, but usually a nice roast. 
big roast. A lot of family can come and eat from, you know. Mm-hmm. But anything more detailed than that? I mean, it depends on the... <clears throat> in the English culture, that's what's, I believe, common. Yeah. yeah. But so in roast, your family? <laughs> in my family, well, yeah, we wouldn't really... Yeah, it's a bit more traditional. Mm. Um, yeah, we what do we have? Well, we don't actually celebrate Christmas, you see. So, but when we do have our when it's our festive season, mm-hmm. um, we just have all all kinds of food. You know, mm-hmm. we like to have roast as well, um, mm-hmm. and chicken, and lamb. Lamb is very very popular, mm-hmm. especially lamb on the spit. You know what that means. Uh, on the spit, no. It's basically a whole lamb which is on a uh, spit and it's kind of rotating. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, <laughs> chicken could be made of the. Any, yeah, uh, anything could be yeah, put anything. On, on a spit, and yeah. basically it's slowly cooked. You know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Actually, there's fire or charcoal yeah, underneath. Under the fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's pretty common. We have that on special occasions in, in the festive mm-hmm. season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I um, I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, Thank you, you too. With your wife. Oh, well. <laughs> and um, yeah, we shall see you tomorrow, hopefully. Have you also yeah, got a... Of course. No, uh, today uh, will be just an ordinary day. I hope so. <laughs> so I could uh, attend all your classes. I think it's three hours in the evening. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow I have one in the morning and then three in the evening. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you joined. Uh, otherwise, it would have been lonely. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, Alex, and we'll see you tomorrow. And you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. Bye-bye.